Good morning and welcome to Tenderfoot Farms. This is part two of my making your own sweet potato starts video. It's been about three weeks. I've got one jar nice and full of sweet potato starts. Got lots of them that I'm about to pick off of these potatoes. And I've got a couple of potatoes that are brand new because I had some that just weren't working and so I just replaced them. So I gave it Put some new ones in the water. So I'm going to pick these off and make some new starts. So now you can see I've picked off the tallest starts coming out of the potatoes and put them in their own jar of water right here. You can see there's no roots on any of those yet. And then over here, these are starts that I picked off well over the last couple of weeks and they've been forming really nice roots and looking really healthy. After they get good roots on them, they're ready to put in the ground, but I also need to wait for the dirt to warm up. So about the third week of April will be a good time for, to plant here in zone 7A. Make sure you check on your sweet potato starts regularly and keep them filled up with water as they start to get more vegetation on them. They really pull the water out of your jars and of course having them on a heat map heat mat also helps pull water out uh, but keep them filled and make sure to check on them see that they're doing okay don't forget that every week or so you need to empty the water out of your jars and replace it with fresh water it'll help your plants not rot uh, down around the roots and also remember that when you create new starts you want to pick off the lower leaves like this so that you don't have leaves rotting underwater they don't do very well that way and it'll grow new roots there where you've picked off the leaves that's all for now on this update of making your own sweet potato starts remember each one of these is going to become a plant it was free, and if you bought it in the store, it would cost you between two and three fifty, two dollars and three dollars and fifty cents. So it's well worth the effort. Please subscribe to our videos, and we'll see you later. That's all from Tenderfoot Farms.